This is one great move that is never talked about in the golf swing. And I reckon 99% of people that I see on a daily basis down here when I coach do not make it. They don't make this move and I have no idea why it's not talked about here on YouTube. I'm going to put a series of golfers on the screen right now. Ben Hogan, Jack Nicholas, Tommy Fleetwood, just to name a few. They get their right shoulder down as they're coming into impact. They create this space. That's how they strike it well. That's how they create power. And this is what I'm going to show you in today's video. Now, Brad's been asking a question because this channel is all about you playing your best golf. So we're answering Brad's question today that he feels that he's getting closer to the ball like this as he comes into impact. Now have a look at my shoulders when I do that move. I've got a three step process that I have proven on the lesson T that I can't wait to share with you about this secret move when you get more this way. So side by side on the screen right now, you can see me making this slow-mo move right shoulder down. On the other side of the screen, you can see me standing up into the golf ball. Both are very, very different moves. So you can see when you stand up, you think about this here, how you're gonna move up on the golf ball in this direction. That's how you catch it fat, that's how you catch it thin. We, we don't wanna be in that situation. So this three-step process, stage one is this. So as you move to the face on perspective, we all want lag, we all want power, don't we? And to get that, we've gotta have the club like this, right? You have gotta feel that position. So the first stage is get a feeling of what you're trying to create. Because sometimes we go, yeah, you know what? Try and stay down, but we don't know what staying down is. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to grab your golf club. I've just got seven iron for reference right here. I want you to open your hips and push your hands ahead. You're then gonna feel as though you make a bit of a move now where you put your right shoulder underneath your chin. So watch this, right shoulder underneath your chin, and just allow the club to move through. You're really getting a feeling there of what that is. And it's gonna be very, very foreign for a lot of you. It's gonna be very, very different for a lot of golfers. So stage one, just get that feeling at a static spot of, you know what, I'm gonna create that. Hips open, hands ahead, right shoulder through and under and round. I love that feeling. It really helps me reconnect with that magic move, which is just, that. Okay, let's get in stage two. Now this is the part of the video where you're gonna to start to work out your own chain reaction. And this is second phase of this process. This is where we start to get a little bit more dynamic and start moving. So, as you move down the line, I've just got my brolly in here. Now for a lot of you, this is gonna feel very, very strange. Don't forget, right, we're stopping this power leaking move, right? If you power leak, you work this way. Look at my shoulder, right? So place your golf club across your chest and look how it is nice and square there. I'll show you that from the player cam perspective. That is what we're looking for. Now, if you stay down the line, I want you to get over the golf ball where my tip of my hat is just over the middle of the umbrella. Now, the idea of this move is you should be able to move back, back down and miss the umbrella. Now, that really feels like I'm like this to me. It almost feels like I'm gonna drive into the ground, but you're not. You're just keeping your relationship. It feels that way because you're used to going like this. So you can get some feedback right away with this drill. Get your set up. This is my view that I see. Round the corner, miss the umbrella. Round the corner, miss the umbrella. Round the corner, miss the umbrella. I want you to do eight to 12 reps. And I promise you that is gonna give you a great feeling. Now, why would that feeling of getting lower work? Well, this is why. If you move to the face on, if you want forward shaft lean, you have to get lower because look at this, hands ahead, my club comes into the ground, okay, get lower. This is what we wanna see. That's how we keep that compression. That's why all good players make that move. Right, so how do you take it to the golf course? You've got stage one, you've done stage two, you've got some feels. And what I would really do is if you can't get those feels right away because some people get them right away, others don't, don't worry. Keep doing this stage two until you get it. When you've got that feeling, I'll tell you what I feel. I feel that I get my right shoulder down pointing over the golf ball. It never does, but that's the feeling I get. Now, when I move into a shot, I want you to try this. I'm gonna ask you to stand in front here. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hit it at you. 
But what I always think about here is, as you're striking the ball away, and you're gonna follow the spots of the ball, I want you to feel like you view the ball more in this aspect, not this way. So almost like your eyes are looking for the ball this way, not this way. And that is what I want you to focus on when you're hitting a shot with your irons or with your driver. So here you're gonna mimic this. I'm gonna feel like it's like that for longer through that hit. Right, we're on the 11th here Motram Hall. It's a little bit downwind. I've got seven iron in my hand. Let's see if I can hit the green. Oh, what a hit. I'm feeling that. That is all over that flag. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'm here to help you play your best golf this summer.